Baby. Hey. Hey everybody, welcome to Rotter 2 Brief. How you doing? Just wanted to give you a quick little segment on a little thing I have to do. So I make my own water at home for my saltwater aquarium, my 125 gallon saltwater aquarium. And this is an RODI unit. Basically the water comes out of the faucet, through the red hose, it goes through the system, it goes through the first container, which is carbon, I'm sorry, a filter, second, which is carbon, third, which is carbon, and then the fourth container it goes through is a phosphate reduction. How do you know when you have to replace this phosphate reducer? This removes all the phosphates out of the water. The first chamber removes the solids, and the carbon, of course, removes you know minerals and all the nasties out of the water. Our water is really good here, but you want to have as pure as you can. Um, so regardless of what your water is like, I went to the website for the village that we're in. The water is really good. But you want to remove all traces of chlorine, metals, and all that. Um, to reduce phosphate in your water, everything carries phosphates. The food you feed, if you overfeed your fish, you're going to get more phosphates in your water. That's bad because algae feeds on phosphates. You're going to get the green hair algae or the algae in your water, an algae bloom, which your water will be cloudy, a greenish yellow tinge. How do you prevent that? Don't feed your fish that much. I feed my fish once every other day, and I have large tang fish. So I feed them once every other day. I also have five clownfish in there as well. Now, this is a TDS meter, and you're going to power it on. It should always be zero. Well, it's been like three. So it's time to change that. We're going to do that right now. A new container. I got it from Bulk Reef Supply. I'm not into saying company names. If they don't pay me, I'm not going to say it. So you get whoever you want to get. I just went through Bulk Reef Supply. Sometimes I go with Marine Depot. I'm not loyal. It just depends on who's got what on sale. Blue Mixed Bed Resin. It's a 10 inch by two and a half inch packed cartridge. It's color changing and it's nuclear grade. So it's gonna change when it's time to change this, okay? Now you don't have to buy the cartridge. You can just get the resin and you can pack it in the container yourself. This is pre-packed, so all you have to do is unscrew the bottom of the container, pop this in, and you're done. Now this is refillable, so I'll have this container. I have extra resin, so when this is ready to be changed in a couple months, two, three months, whatever, I will dump this stuff out, replace it with resin. You have to pack it down real tight. This is about, what, 18 to 20 bucks, something like that. Here's what it's gonna look like. All right. This end up. All right, so you can see those little slits inside. The water's gonna run in through there. You got some mechanical filtration. It's going to go through this tightly compacted resin and then flow out, removing all the phosphates. The water is pure as possible. That's what you want. All right, so I just got this wrench. You put it around here, obviously. Twist it, and it's already loose. I already broke the seal on that. I'm just going to take this off, put the new resin in. So the lid is off. You can see the old resin in here. It's like plutonium. That reminds me of Back to the Future. The way it looked when I took it out. So that used to be like a different color. Now it's like brown. I'm going to take this guy. Do the opposite. I'm going to put the camera down because I don't want it to overflow. Screw it on up. Okay, the new one's in there. Let's turn it on. So right now, most of the water is being thrust through the membrane here to clean that out. Got the water pressure. 
it'll go higher when I open up the line. Most of the water's going through the membrane and getting flushed out through the wastewater there. I like to do this for about a minute before and after making water. I turn it in, I turn this on. Water pressure is close to 60 where it should be. That'll go up. The water is being made in there. It's going through, that's very pure water. TDS meter. The lines are still flushing. It says 18, 17, 16. Let's see what it says going out. Zero. Awesome. That's just what we want. Anything higher than zero is bad. A one is bad, a two is bad. So over time, you're putting phosphates in your water. You're doing water changes and those phosphates are adding up. You might be vacuuming your tank, feeding your fish less, but algae is growing in your tank and you don't know why. This is the first line of defense. You wanna have nothing in your water, pure water, and I do a 10% water change every week. So that's it. Any questions, let me know. I used to just run an RO unit, removing the solids and the minerals from the water. Well, that wasn't good enough. I had a massive algae outbreak after a couple of years. It was building over time. And then I got the resin. So now it's an RODI unit, the DI resin. And that's the final stage. And it removes everything, as you can see, all the phosphates from the water. So thanks a lot, guys. Go ahead and give the video a like. Any questions, let me know. Check out the video description for all the gear that I use and links to where you can get it on Amazon. I'll talk to you later.